Good morning, my friend. How are you? Yeah, good, bro. How are you? Yeah, good, kissy, good, kissy. Good morning, fella. Be in, this, in a minute, have a bit of a hui. Just doing a live, bro. Atamari Fane, Atamari, Morena, good morning, family. Uh, good morning, Fane. Look, um, I know a lot of you are uh, uh, probably some of you are actually new to watching us, and uh, some of you are like know us, you know, know, know us full on. So last week I spoke about Fane, last week I spoke about um, we're going, I'm going to ramp up things to start uh, fundraising money for our co popper. So, um, Today is the day. I, pro I will try and keep my promises. So today is the day that we start. Um, I start um, putting the pressure on to try and fundraise money, um, so I don't have to go for funding. So finally, what's going on right now is I'm in. So today is Monday, so I start at the start of the week. Today I am in a race with uh, with. Um, I'm in a, actually in a race with our admin. our admin. Um, so my our admin, my beautiful cousin DG. I've said to her that I don't want funding because I know everybody works hard for their money, bro. I don't want to grab your fellas' tax money, bro. I honestly don't. But um, so we're in a bit of a race, and she said to me, she's giving me to the 26. So hang on, before I go any further, Fanny, I'm spinning you around. Okay. So here's some of our team, right here. Cheer my brothers, cheer my sister. <laughs> Love you, my sister. <laughs> so this is our funny over there in the purple. That's um, that's our operation manager for Kai Tai. Cheer my bro, Hita. Cheer my brother. So anyway, funny. I'll turn it back around. We have a hard team that works tirelessly to get a hold. Uh, to help the struggling up here in the far north. We also have um, opened up our same one whānau at a time in Christchurch. My niece runs it, and my sister runs the other one in South Auckland. So they call me Papa Honey. I want to go through that. I have 32 grandchildren is why I got that number. I got that name, 32 grandchildren. It's why they call me Papa Honey. So I just want to clear that whānau. And yeah, I'm an old fella. I may look young, but <laughs> anyway, anyway, funny. Today is the day that we um, I start doing money drive for our co papa. We have a give a little page, we have a PayPal page, and we have a bank account. So um, today I'm st I'm in a race with my admin. So she's given me to the 26th of uh, November. And I've we've we've I've, I've put a goal on the on the amount of money that I am going to try and uh, fundraise um, or try and get get people to help me with. But so I just wanted to tell you is this: the other day, how many followers have we got, babe? So um, Rachel Rachel keeps her eye on our followers. We're up to seven and a half thousand people following us. So of each of you. Donated five dollars. That's huge money that we can use towards our co-papa. Um, so I'm not just going to ask you guys for money. This week I'm taking you guys on a journey of what we do and how we do it. So today you'll probably see. Um, I'll probably put up three or four videos. Sorry about it, but I'm not. Um, and I'm putting those videos up so you can see how hard we actually work. I'm going to take you through a whole week of one Fano at a time. So, I don't know what she's watching Australia because there's a lot of Australians on here. I don't know, it might be neighbours or something is your favourite thing over there. Over here at Shortland Street. But let me tell you, the new thing coming up is one Fano at a time adventure. So, I'm taking you guys on a journey um, of what we do and how we help the struggling. And this journey is so that we can start um, um, f getting some money so that we we are good to help Farno right through the Christmas, over the holidays, and beyond. You know, 
uh, without funding because I actually don't want to go for funding funny and yes we are this week a registered trust so any of you that are thinking that oh we're just a nothing or whatever we this week we have our trust members we have everything in place to move forward as a registered trust so today Fane, what we have on today is um, we're off the Whangarei, three of us with a trailer, and we're going down there to pick up koha that people that have donated, uh, that have donated furniture and, and beautiful stuff to us to bring back the kai tire to give out for free. Yes, everything that we collect, we collect fridges, eh bros? Fridges, so these are the boys, these are the fellas that actually go out and help collect all our stuff on our van. Okay, so we, we, we started with nothing um, uh, six, seven months ago. We had nothing. We just had a little station wagon. Me and my sister over here, or my, she's actually my darling. So we started with nothing. Um, now, let me take you guys on a little walk. So right now, and I'm taking you guys on a journey so you guys know that we're not mucking around. We're doing the job. So now finally, on our own, with no help from funding or anything, we have a one whānau van. Okay? Now I got that for 10 grand. That van there. That belongs to our kaupapa. Not to me. That belongs to our, what we do. And then we fundraised more money and bought us a car for the kaupapa so this is our Audi I got that for six grand okay so I'm just taking you guys on a little journey so you know where we come from and so we're very open and honest okay so I'll tell you the truth we started with nothing so we have nothing to lose okay Another. So, I just want to tell you is that um, I am doing the best and my crew are doing the best. And I keep saying with what little that we have. But I can tell you this, Farney, family, that we're in this to the end. I don't want to start something that only lasts. We're not looking at this lasting a year, two years. We would like this movement to go on for 100 years at least. Because everything that we get, Farney, we give away a hey, free we don't make any money on it and people say to us how can you do that how can you give stuff away well let me tell you it's like this here you go if everybody gave away what they didn't need and what they don't use anymore the dumps wouldn't be full so this is the journey i'm taking you all on me and my darling over here we spent countless hours hundreds of hours um, going to Auckland and back again to the far north um, collecting um, donations that people give us uh, and bring back here and give away we've given, given away so many washing machines um, so many fridges and freezers eh, and, and clothes and plates and everything that so I'm telling you our story so we can start generating more money for our cause and we're very open you don't have to Go online, you just watch our live feeds and you can see all the stuff that we do. So this week, Fani, I'm taking you guys on a, on a journey of one Fano at a time and what we do. And, um, and just show you guys exactly what we do in the community. And we don't just do up here in the far north, we, we do the whole of Aotearoa, New Zealand. And, um, and I'm very proud of everyone that stepped up and joined our kaupapa. And we are thriving, Fani. You know, so um, we deal with kids, uh, eld our elderly up here. Um, we have so many things going on. Um, I'm so proud of everyone that puts their effort into doing what we do. We feed the elderly up here. Um, we've done um, we've done uh, meals on wheels for elderly through the through the. Um, COVID, when the lockdowns and all that happened, so we've wrecked really hard. Christmas time coming up, funny, and uh, we really need money to help people. 
Um, and I can go to the government and I can go and get funding because I know we probably will. But I also know that um, people work hard for their money and I would rather, you know, if 7,000 people gave us $10 each or $5 each, that would take us right over till next year. So please share this video. Uh, please watch our videos. Go to our webpage, onefano.nz. Right there you'll be able to see how you guys can help us. But we deal with stuff every day. <coughs> so <clears throat> every day we get phone calls from whanos that are struggling. And they tell us, you know, um, uh, winds can't help us. All these other places can't help us. And we're pretty much the bottom of the barrel. <coughs> But we give something to everyone that comes to us. We don't judge you. Uh, we don't anything. We don't deny you. So please help us keep our K-pop going for Christmas and over the Christmas. Please help me win this race with my admin because I don't want to take the taxpayers' money. I would rather do this um, naturally. So that's all i got to say. i got a lot to do. Um, like I said, we're off to um, Whangarei today, pick up donations. Uh, and last night, you know, last night, funny, um, get a message from an, old, um, uh, an elderly couple in, um, in Rāwini, you know, that, are, that, are, uh, um, that need food and help. So we're out to Rāwini today before we go to Whangarei to take them a lovely big shopping, meat and everything. And I just, just want to um, just wanna share our journey. I just want to share our journey, and I think that we're doing we're doing really really well for um, for what we do. So the last thing of this journey in our because this is where we sit, this is where we have our meetings. Yes, we don't have a flash, uh, <laughs> we don't have a flash office or anything flash. We make do with what we have. So let me just show you something. In this freezer here, finally. This freezer is full of fish. Hey, bro. Uh, stack, what? Stacked to the top. Stacked to the top with fish in this freezer here. And these three freezers here, finally. These three freezers here. These big freezers here. They are all full of meat. All full of meat. Okay? All these here. Okay. So the meat didn't just jump in my freezer. <laughs> the meat didn't just jump in the freezer finally. Um, I got this meat through Korero, having a talk to people, telling them the truth about the struggle. And then I pay for it. I, but um, So I buy my meat off the farmers. And we have a registered, uh, a registered uh, slaughterman that slaughters them for us, the, the bro mouse. And we have... Uh, a registered butcher that, that does all our meat up for us. So let me tell you, uh, my man, um, uh, um, uh, my ex-drug dealer, I'm an ex-meth dealer, um, I've dealt so many drugs in my life, it's not funny. And my new life is, my new life is helping people find that struggle, changing the world with honesty, with straight upness. I even help people that are on meth and all that, and people are, um, I help people to get off meth if they want to, alright, so that's what we do, and I'm going to leave it there now because I've got work to do, but I really wanted the story to be known because I know a lot of you are watching us now and are not quite sure what we do, what we do is we help people and we deal with them through our hearts, eh bro? Hey, and the people that I have around me right now, the far now, I'm just going to spray on putting these on, bro. So these are the bros. This is some of our people. These fellas over here, these brothers over here, my bro, my sister. <laughs> so these are the people that help us, and none of us are paid to do this, but one day uh, we might be, who knows. So these, this is what we do, Fanu. We do this. So please help us help the struggling people. Please, please share this.
uh, please share this video so it reaches the people. Please, even if you just donated, eh, bro, like $2, $3. I'm doing a money drive, okay? I'm doing a money drive. It's what I'm doing. To all the whanau's up here that I've helped out, and I know there's, there's bro, we must be getting into hundreds in our way. To all those whanau's up here that we have helped out, please, whanau, can you guys, even if you can afford $1, that's a dollar, that's a bread I can buy for a whanau up here, eh? So that's all I've got to say, funny. Everybody take care. Um, if you want our account numbers or anything like that, funny, um, how do we do that? I'll just go on our page, eh? It, go to our onefano.nz. All the information is on there, funny. So just search it up. Onefano.nz. Okay, I just got told to chop it. That means carry on. <laughs> no, no. So anyway, fun. Everybody take care. I've got to go now. Um, and I'll get back on later on. So, Matiwa, fun. Everybody take care. And everybody look after each other. And unite the families, bro. Unite the whanau. Right now, and in this time of separation and everything, we should all be one. Straight up. Just, just my silly words. Take care, funny. I got work to do. People to help. Matiwa.